were you doing climbing up a tree anyway? Looking for coconuts. Should stick to porridge, much safer. You know where you are with a bowl of porridge. <sighs> Don't worry, son. They'll do everything they can to make you better. You need plenty of rest. No more climbing trees for a while. But I love climbing trees. Ted's, can you take him to X-ray? Right. right. Hold tight. Very good, Charlotte. But you can come down now. You won't be saying that when I've had my tonsils out. Will I ever be able to sing again? Of course. Give it a few days, you'll be back to normal. Hmm, there's a chip in his back. No wonder he finds it hard to move. It will get better, won't it? He should be all right in a month or two. We'll put him in traction. We've got to make sure his bones don't move around. There's a pretty slide you're wearing. Yes, I wore it in the school concert. Ow! I sang like a kisser. <laughs> Scabble. You won't be able to do that, not for a while. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll find something else for you to do instead. How would you like it if I read you a story? Once upon a time, there was a monkey who liked to climb trees. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm trying to sing. Oh, it's a bit early for that. You only had your tonsils out this morning. But I've got to school musical in two weeks, and I'm in the leading role. I have to practice. But how can I with a voice like this? Why don't you get Danny to do some painting? That'll cheer him up. It always works for me. Don't be silly. He can't use his arms or legs. You don't need arms and legs to paint, Kitty. How would you like to do a nice big painting? How am I going to do that? I'll just pop this in your mouth. <coughs> oh. <coughs> yes. That's it. Painting is all about expressing your feelings. If you feel angry inside, let it all out through paint. A month. He'll be in traction for a month. Possibly longer. He's so fed up, he doesn't want to get better. Can't you do something to cheer him up? We're doing everything we can. <coughs> What's this, Felicity? A new fashion? I think it's very colourful, Felicity. Hm. No, this isn't a new fashion. I've been painting with Danny. But how can he? With his mouth, Dr. Matthews. He has a real talent. Well, he certainly knows how to spread the paint around. He shows signs of a true artist, extremely passionate. The only trouble is he doesn't want to paint. Hmm. He's fed up like Charlotte. Maybe we should move them in together. You always know what to do, Dr. Matthews. I admire that in a dog. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Danny. This is Charlotte. Say hello. Hello. Oh. Not much good at painting, are 
are you? Right, Ted. Oof. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea after all. Give it a bit longer, Dr. Matthews. We should take that paint set away before he does any more damage. No, look. La, la, la. La, 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 la. <laughs> You're not much good at singing. That's because I've had an operation. Can I have a go? I've got to be better at it than you are. What's that? It looks like a monster. It is. It's you. <laughs> Here, give that to me. Looks like a frog. <laughs> it's you. Grrr, grrr. Right, I'll get you for that. I want Danny moved to another hospital. That's not a good idea. Danny shouldn't be moved at the moment. It might damage his back. Well, he doesn't seem to be getting any better here. We're doing our best. What? With all that silly painting? That's not going to make him better. It's you, singing. Or just pretending to. Why don't you really sing? I sound like a frog, remember? I'm sorry I said that. I was only joking. No, you were right. I do croak. Not as much as me. Croak. It's coming back! <laughs> Someone sounds like they're having fun. Gosh! I knew it. This shows real talent. I can see a poor soul struggling all alone in the universe. Actually, it's a frog. Of course it's a frog. But the frog is just a symbol. It's good that you're feeling better. Yes, Charlotte's singing has really cheered me up. Singing? singing? What a lovely voice. Yes, it's lovely. Perhaps you'd like to sing for one of my relaxation tapes. And maybe we could put one of Danny's paintings on the cover. Here's someone from the Hilltop Herald to take your photo. Gosh, are we going to be in the newspaper? One, two, three, smile. Dr. Matthews, Dr. Matthews, look. New talent discovered at Hilltop. Oh, Dr. Matthews, don't we look good together? I think they mean Danny and Charlotte. Oh, we're famous! And you both deserve it. Yeah, and we couldn't have done it without each other. I can't believe it. I find something else I'm good at, even when I'm like this. And I'll be able to sing in the musical now. Yeah, you'll be the star of the show.
Many happy returns, Dr. Atticus. It's my birthday? Good heavens, I completely forgot. We weren't quite sure how many candles we should put on the cake. Um, yes, um... Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to spoil the party, what? but Virtue's oh, just been rushed into emergency. Oh. Sally, Kitty, could you come right come away? Come now, Dr. Matthews. <gasps> no sign of a head injury. Mm. Oh. Blood pressure's low. Doesn't look good. Yes, the poor thing. Mm. <gasps> oh, my poor virtue. Take the sample to the lab, please, Kitty. <laughs> oh. Would you like a piece of my birthday cake? No, thanks. Just had breakfast. You must be getting on a bit now, Dr Atticus. Uh, yes, I, I think I'm rather more than one year old. Would you mind if we asked you a few questions about how Virtue got into this condition, Mrs... Uh, Mrs... It's... Uh, oh, no, oh, I should know that one. <laughs> I'm sure I've got it here somewhere. Mm. Uh, oh, yes. Here we are. Mrs. Olive Atkins. Do you have any idea why Virtue collapsed? Uh, oh, now that's a hard one. I should know this, but... Uh... Has he eaten anything unusual or taken any medicine? Oh, that's a puzzle, that is. You see, if you could remember, it would help us to find out what's wrong with Virtue. And then we could help him get better. Oh... I'm sorry, I can't remember anything. <laughs> how is he? He's really not very well. If only we knew how this happened, but Olive can't remember anything. It's hard to remember things when you're very worried. I'll see if I can get her to relax. That might help her remember. Good idea. I'll bring her a cup of tea. Relaxing with Benny B. Um, piano meditations by Richard Cuttlefish. No. Uh, aha! Perfect. Dreamy sounds of dolphins. Right, Olive. I want you to close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your trunk. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? Oh dear, we've run out of tea bags. Have you got the key to the cupboard, Sally? No, nope. I think Dr. Atticus had it last. Oh dear, better get a new one cut then. In. <laughs> and out. Oh, oh, I'm drowning. <laughs> oh. mm, Have you seen yum, the key yum. to the store cupboard, Dr. Atticus? Mm. Mm. Don't know what that's doing there. The key, Dr. Atticus? Yeah. Oh, yes, uh, sorry. No, I haven't got it. I could have sworn you had it last. Not me, Kitty. Oh, but I was going to make Olive a nice cup of tea. Well, don't worry. I'll take her some cake instead. Oh. Oh, no. Let's play a memory game called Bez. Now. Memorize where the cards are. Oh. Um. <gasps> it's a flower. Yes! Well done! But they don't match, do they? <gasps> Let's try something else. Any news? He's very ill. 
Sally thinks we might have to operate. Oh, dear. I hope not. I don't think Dr. Atticus will be able to manage. Why ever not? I think he's losing his memory. He forgot about his own birthday, can't remember how old he is, and has lost the key to the store cupboard. I'll ask Claire and Arthur. They might have something to help him remember things. Oh, Dr. Matthews, you're so decisive. I like that in a dog. There is no miracle drug for memory loss, but we do have a book somewhere about memory techniques. You had that book last, didn't you, Claire? No, you had it last. Did I? Well, where is it then? Are you sure you didn't have it? Peanut butter on cake, Dr. Atticus. Yes. Olive must be really hungry by now. Oh, no. His heartbeats are very irregular. Get Dr. Atticus. We're going to have to operate right now. You are now asleep. Tell me, Olive, what was Virtue doing this morning? I gave him something to eat. He was hungry. Oh, oh, where am I? Oh, Dr. Atticus, we just reached complete inner peace. I'm sorry. We ran out of tea, so I thought you might like some peanut butter cake. Oh, oh, that's it. What is it? Nuts. Don't be so rude. No, nuts. He's allergic to nuts, and I gave him peanut butter sandwiches this morning. Are you sure now? Yes, certain. Oh, my poor virtue. I'll never forgive myself. I'll tell everyone. <laughs> His blood count is out. Definitely an allergic reaction. We'd better tell Sally. Yes? Thank you, Claire. EpiPen kit. Oh, right. Good. EpiPen kit. Do you think that'll work? Should do. Makes the heart beat really fast. It could wake a hibernating bear. Hmm. I'll go and get Olive. She'll be so relieved. Oh, I just felt Virtue's trunk move. Virtue! Virtue! He's waking up. Oh, Virtue, I'm so glad you're all right. <laughs> oh, Grandma, you're squeezing my trunk. Oh, sorry, love. I must say, you're looking a lot better. This is a medic alert bracelet to say you are allergic to nuts. You must never take it off, OK? Yes. And you must always remind people never to give you anything with nuts in, especially your grandma. OK. Here's a notebook. I've written in the notebook what virtue can and can't eat, so you don't forget. Oh, thanks. You know, Dr. Atticus, maybe you should use a notebook, too. You did forget your birthday. Kitty, when you're as old as I am, you try to forget your birthday. Oh, I am sorry, Dr. Atticus. Oh, that's quite all right. Actually, a notebook might come in handy. I have one in my pocket. Here you are. Off. Oh, dear. The key to the store cupboard. I had it all the time. On second thoughts, Kitty, Maybe you should keep that notebook. I think you need it more than me. <laughs>
holiday, Kitty. Yes, a bit of sunshine on the beach. I'm going with Dr. Matthews. Oh, he'll be happy. That's as long as there's somewhere he can doggy paddle. Morning, Kitty. Morning, Dr. Atticus. Oh. Ooh. I like your new sun hat. Sun? No, no, no. It's, it's for rocks, Dr. Atticus. Falling rocks. We're going on an archaeological dig, looking for bones. But we're going to look for a bit of sunshine. Oh, no. Not sunshine. Bones. Oh, dear. It looks like you won't be going together after all. Chop, chop, everyone. Ermintrude and Ernestina have arrived. Now, here's your bed, Ermintrude and Ernestina. But I want a green blanket. I like the red blanket. Well, it's no use arguing. You'll have to share whatever colour blanket you have. I want to face this way. I like the view out of this window. Oh, dear. I like the view out of this window. Well, if all goes well, you'll have a bed of your own after the operation. Imagine, you'll be separated for the first time since you were born. What could be a better present for your birthday? <gasps> Is the anaesthetic ready, Dr. Atticus? Almost ready, Sally. Good. This will be a very long operation. We'll have to keep them asleep for a long time. Are all the instruments sterilized, Nurse Bunny? Almost done. I'll need twice as many instruments as usual. After all, I will be operating on two patients at once. Have we all the patient's medical details, Dr. Matthews? This is a very complicated operation. I don't want to make any mistakes. Yes, Sally. This is Ernestina's X-ray. No, Dr. Matthews. I think that's Ermintrude's X-ray. No, Sally. It's Ernestina's. If there's one thing I know about, it's bones. We're a team, Ted. Don't know what I'll do without you. No. We wouldn't be able to finish this in time for the twins' birthday if we didn't do it together. We understand each other, see? On the same wavelength. We know that two Teds are better than one. Yes. Without your help, I'd never get this jumper finished in time. Yes, without your help... Jumper? I'm making a pair of socks. Oh, no. was a record. A 2,000-piece jigsaw in 32 minutes. I want to play snakes and ladders now. I want to play cards. You won't have time for that. I'm taking you to the theatre for your operation. I want my own wheelchair. Yes, and I want my own wheelchair. Now, don't be silly. You know you have to share the same wheelchair. Tomorrow, you can have your own. I can't possibly operate until we've sorted out these X-rays. They are sorted. This is Ermintrude's X-ray. No, that's Ernestina's X-ray. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Uh, excuse me. Uh, would it be presumptuous if I had a little peek at them myself? <sighs> you insist? Hmm. Very interesting. Have you noticed that these X-rays are exactly the same? Just as you'd expect of identical twins. Of course they're the same, so... Well, then, because they're exactly the same, it doesn't matter which one's which, does it? Don't you say, Matthews? Right, let's get started. I hope you're not putting sugar in Ernestina's cake. Of course. You can't make icing without sugar. Anyway, it's been scientifically proven that sugar gives you energy. I hope you're putting sugar in Ermintrude's cake. No, I'm not. It's been scientifically proven that sugar rots your teeth. Oh, dear. What is it? I've made the icing, but forgotten the cake. I've made a cake, but I've forgotten the icing. I know. If you use my icing... And you use my cake... We can make a birthday cake that'll give you plenty of energy. But won't do too much damage to your teeth. But who's it for? Ernestina or Ermintrude? They'll just have to share. Administer anaesthetic. Am I having the same as her? I want a different anaesthetic. Yes, I want a different one too. I don't want to share with her. No, I don't want to share with her. 
I really can't understand why they need to argue. I couldn't agree with you more, Dr. Atticus. Ernestina, happy birthday. Thank you. It's Ermintrude's birthday, too. But where is Ermintrude? You've had your operation, Ernestina. Remember? You've been separated. Separated? Oh, yes. She's in another ward called an intensive care ward. Then why aren't I in that ward, too? Because you've woken up. Hasn't Ermintrude woken up, then? Not yet, Ernestina. She has to wake up today, or she'll miss her birthday. Where's Ernestina? She's in the other ward. But it's our birthday. I don't want my birthday if Ernestina can't have it with me. We always have our birthday together. Always, always. Of course. Now you've woken up, we can go and see her. Intrude. It's taking ages to do it on my own. All right, as long as we can play snakes and ladders afterwards. But I want to play cards. There won't be time for that. It's your birthday, remember? Is that cake for me? Is that cake for me? It's for both of you. You can share it. Just because you've been separated doesn't mean you can't still share things. Happy birthday! And since we've worked very hard to look after you, perhaps you'd like to share it with us too. Yes! We, we both, both agree, agree to, to that. that. On your way home, Kitty? Yes. I've got to quickly go and book a holiday on my own. This is where I've decided to go. Turtle Bay. Sun, sand and creamy ice cream. You off too, Matthew? That's right, Dr. Atticus. I've got to quickly go and book my holiday. This is where I've decided to go. Turtle Bay. Just the place for bones. Oh, so, Kitty and Matthews, you've decided to go on holiday together after all. What? what? Together? together? Why, yes. You're both going to the same place. Oh. Hmm. You better hurry before the travel agent closes. Yes. Come on, Kitty. Coming, Dr. Matthews. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dr. Atticus, what are you doing here? Oh. I think this speech is big enough for us all to share, Dr. Matthews. I found a very interesting bone this morning. Can we have an ice cream, Dr. Matthews? I just feel like sitting in the sun with an ice cream. But this bone...
head. There's nothing wrong with my driving. It's the hippo in the back. It's too blooming heavy. Right, Ted, get her out. Good job she's on again, Ted. We'd never lift her. Grab it, Ted. God, it's too heavy. Watch out. Who's it? Welcome to Hilltop Hospital, Mrs. Hippopotamus. So, you see, all we have to do with our fabulous new cake-making machine is, one... Put in the ingredients. Two... Pull the handle. And three... Bob your uncle. You can't eat it now. Oh, not fair. You'll just have to wait. That cake's for your birthday. Oh. 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 My Lucy, you are a big girl. Your mother says you've been feeling tired and out of breath. Do you eat a lot, Lucy? She eats the same as everyone else. And you never eat between meals, do you, Lucy? Mm. No. Well, you're very heavy for your age and height, Lucy. It's not good for your heart. Let's take a blood test. Ooh, what's that pink elephant on the ceiling? Doesn't it? We couldn't find anything unusual. But there must be something wrong. Snap. You looked. I didn't. Let's see the cake. Yum, yum. Did you see what I saw, Ted? Three bunnies acting funny. <laughs> that cake for your birthday party. Back to bed with you. Go to sleep. He's late. You all right, Lucy? I've just been to the little hippo's room. Right, OK. Off to sleep then, everyone. Night. <gasps> the birthday cake's gone. Someone stole it in the night. Well, I hope you aren't accusing me. It wasn't me. And it wasn't me. Dr. Atticus, have you taken a birthday cake from the lab? Uh, oh, uh, 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 birthday cake? Oh, I'd love some. Claire and Arthur will just have to make another one. And we'll lock it in the cupboard where it's safe. We'll put the rest of the food for the party in the staff room fridge. Hello, Lucy. How are you? All right. Today we're going to try a new therapy. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Not really. Don't be rude, Lucy. We're going to wrap you in bandages. In a lovely mud bath. I hate mud. It stinks. Lucy! <laughs> I will be able to get to my lettuce, will I? I do sometimes need a snack while I'm working. We'll put your lettuce right here, Dr. Atticus. Right at the front. 
How's that? Lovely. Lucy, there's no need to be frightened, Lucy. We'll try a different therapy. Now, you look. Don't start that again. Where are you going? I'm going for a wee honey to tinkle too. I'm bursting. Don't be long then. I just fancy a lettuce sandwich. Oh dear. What is it, Dr. Atticus? Someone's stolen all the biscuits and chocolate for the party. That's terrible. What about the birthday party tomorrow? Oh. We'll buy some more crisps and chocolate bars, but not until tomorrow. That'll to put a stop to this. Will you take Lucy for a bath, please, Tess? She's been sweating a lot in the night. Can do. It's what we're here for. I'll change the sheets. They may be a bit damp. No! No! You'll feel a lot fresher with clean sheets, Lucy. Oh. Oh, but I was hungry. I, I thought it was all right to take things from the fridge. Well, it wasn't. Besides, you know too much chocolate isn't good for you, don't you, Lucy? Mm. Are you unhappy about something? Is that what's making you want to eat all the time? Nobody wants to play with me. They all ran away when I arrived and called me Jelly Belly. Sorry, we didn't mean it. I'd like to play with you. Me too. I don't believe you. Hands up, everyone that wants to play with Lucy. This vegetable pie is delicious. Yes, we made it especially for Lucy. It's got lots of vitamins, but it's not fattening. Very scientific. Perhaps you could give me the recipe. I could make it at home. Ah! Ah! Who'd like some birthday cake? Me, not me first. What about you, Lucy? Um, uh, um... It's all right, Lucy. You can eat sweet things, as long as you don't have too much. Um, well, maybe a small piece. Goodbye, Lucy. I'm so glad you're feeling better. Just keep to the diet and come back and see me in a week. Then you get then. If you don't mind, we'd rather walk home, wouldn't we, Mum? I, uh, no. We don't mind at all. I think you're putting on a bit of weight, Teds. You should do a bit of exercise. Don't be cheeky. Yes, don't be cheeky. Fancy a game of football.
Here's Dr. Matthews, Mrs. Piggott. Ah, uh, Dr. Matthews, I'm very concerned about Seamus's skin. It's gone completely flaky. I've never had this problem with any of my other children. Well, let's take a look at him. Uh, where is he? I'm sorry, he's so sensitive. He thinks people will make fun of him because of his flaky skin. Come on, Seamus, let the doctor look at you. Ah! Seamus, you're a snake. <laughs> It's only for a night or two, so we can take a proper look at you. You will make me better. Otherwise, no one will like me with my skin falling to bits. Now, don't be silly, Seamus. Sometimes we look better than at other times, but always remember, we look just the same underneath. He was adopted. I thought you might have realized that, Dr. Matthews. After all, he's a snake and his mother is a horse. <sighs> We're still going out to the cinema tomorrow night, the 25th. You haven't forgotten. Of course I haven't forgotten. I've been looking forward to it all week. I know I won't sleep a wink tonight. Oh. Too. Why? I'm a Dalmatian, and I haven't got any spots. But you know what Nurse Kitty says? We're all just the same underneath. Morning, Kitty. Morning, Ted. Morning, Kitty. Morning, Ted. Oi, Kitty. Yes, Ted. Uh, I hope you don't mind me saying so, but did you know you've got a great big spot right in the middle of your face? I get it seen to. Sticks out a mile. Thank you, Ted. Yes, I did know. But I'm just the same underneath. Oh, Kitty, you're a bit late. Not a spot of bother? Just a spot, Dr. Matthews. I've been wondering about Seamus. And I think he may have psoriasis. What he needs is some coal tar ointment. I'll go and get some from Claire and Arthur. I need to see them about another problem anyway. My goodness, Kitty. Aren't you hot wearing a scarf on a hot day like today? Oh, no. I'm, I'm going out tonight. I don't want to catch cold. That should do it. Hello, Claire. Arthur. I've just come to collect some coal tar ointment. Righto. Oh, and I was just wondering if you had any spot cream. Spot cream? You're in luck, Kitty. We've just invented some. Help yourself. to get rid of my spot and now I've got two. Exactly. That's why it's called Spot Cream. It's for Dodi. He's a Dalmatian and he hasn't got any spots. Yes, and it's very kind of you to try it out for us, Kitty. Oh! Did you see that, Ted? She's got another spot now. What a whopper! Can <laughs> see it for miles. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Should do the trick. I hope so. I don't want anyone to make fun of me. See, Seamus? Remember what Nurse Kitty told you? You're just the same underneath. Isn't that right, Kitty? Um, yes, Dr. Matthews. But everyone will run away from me so they don't catch it too. Catch it? 
Don't be silly, Seamus. You can't catch it. Why is Nurse Kitty wearing a mask, then? That's true. Why are you wearing a mask, Kitty? Oh... Hello, Dodie. Time to try our new spot cream. Just rub it in and it'll give you spots. It's been scientifically tested. There we are. I can see a spot coming now. Let me have a look. Let me look. There. Oh. What's the matter? It's the wrong colour. Dalmatians always have black spots. People will laugh at me if I don't have black spots. Oh. I'm worried about Seamus, Dr. Atticus. His skin is flaking off. Well, of course. You do know that snakes shed... My goodness, Kitty. Those spots are enormous. Really quite unusually huge. Yes, Dr. Atticus. But I'm just the same underneath. Ah, oh, Kitty. I've just been looking at Seamus's skin. I'm just wondering if we should try the spa pool. Yes, Dr. Matthews. I'll be there now. Oh! oh. What's got into her? Uh, Dr. Matthews, you do know that snakes... Huh? Talk to yourself. There we go. That should make your skin feel softer. I hope so. My skin's getting worse and worse. I must be the ugliest animal in the world. Nonsense. A little bit of rough skin is nothing to worry about. Could be a lot worse. Look at Kitty with those two great big spots on her face. Oh. Any improvement, Kitty? No, Dr Matthews. No improvement at all. I can't help feeling that Kitty's taking Seamus's problem a bit personally. Well, Matthews, what is it? I wanted your opinion about Seamus. His skin just gets flakier and flakier. Ah, yes. Well, that's because he's a snake, and snakes shed their... Ah, there you are, Kitty. And where's Seamus? I wanted Dr Atticus to take a look at him. I can't find Seamus anywhere, Dr Matthews. But I did find this. Yes. As I've been trying to tell you, Dr. Matthew. Come on, Kitty. Let's get to the bottom of this. There you are, Seamus. Look at me! Look at me! Oh, I'm so grateful, Dr. Matthews. Seamus' skin looks better than it ever did. What did you do? We didn't do anything. No. As they grow, snakes shed their skin. It's a natural process. You were right, Kitty. All the time I really was just the same underneath. So you don't have to worry either, Dr Atticus. Me? Well, even with that spot, you're just the same underneath. Spot? What spot? Must be all those chocolate biscuits. Oh, dear. Are you going? What about your spots? Oh, I've decided to stay as I am. It doesn't really matter what you look like. Oh, uh, I know. We're, We're just, just the, the same, same underneath. Goodbye, Ted. Ready to go, Kitty. The film starts in half an hour. I... I don't think I'll be able to go after all, Dr Matthews. Oh, Kitty, I really want to see this film. It's got Leoline Leopard in it. Those spots of hers drive me wild. Really, Dr Matthews? Can't resist spots. Ever since I went out with a Dalmatian once, my kitty, your skin looks wonderful in the moonlight. Does it, Dr. Matthews? Really? Heavenly. Now, come on, kitty, or we'll be late. Coming, Dr. Matthews. Coming. Oh, this? Hey, 
I'd call it your finger, I would. Quite right, Jed. I'd recognise one anywhere. <laughs> it's dirt. That's what it is. I want that ambulance washed and polished and quick about it. Dr Bickerbeak will be here any minute. Yes. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, no. What's that on your tie? Huh? Um, mm, tastes like cauliflower. Well, clean it off. I want you looking your best for the inspection. Uh, yes, Sally. And clean up this wall. Dr. Pickerbeak will be here any minute. He's never had chest pains before, Dr. Matthews. He's always been a healthy little mole. A lot of young animals get chest pains. It's not always serious. Have you eaten anything that might give you a tummy upset? Breathe in. Have you been doing push-ups? Are you worried about something? It's his first day at school tomorrow. He's very worried about it. Oh, uh, it's all right. You can breathe out. <sighs> should be tucked in. I want you to remake this bed at once. Yeah, The floor's wet. Oh, the pipe's leaking. Better call the Ted's, Kitty. We need to get that fixed before Dr. Bickerbeak arrives. I don't think there's anything to worry about. I can't find anything wrong with you, Morris. Thank you, Doctor. It's a great relief. I can take him home, then. Yes. I bet you're glad to be going home, Morris. No, no. It hurts. Oh. It hurts. <laughs> we thought this would be useful for the hospital school. You can teach people about shapes. And about gravity, how things fall downwards. Or you can just make things with it. What is it? It's a design for a high-rise rabbit warren. This won't hurt, Morris. Just lie still. It won't take a minute. See? It's measuring your heartbeat. What's that on the ceiling? What? I can't see anything. Oh, dear. What is it? I'd better tell Dr Matthews about this one at once. Realise that there's a hospital inspection today. You've simply got to fix it. Uh, um. Not now, Dr. Matthews. Can't you see there's a crisis on? But, Sally, look. <gasps> Goodness. Get that mole into a bed at once. I've never seen anything like it. Is there anything you can do? He'll yeah, have to have a scan. We may have to operate. It might respond to laser surgery. Mmm. Poor Morris. Hello, everyone. Time for school. School? We don't have school in hospital. Of course you do. Yes. We make sure you don't miss anything when you're in hospital. I feel much better now. I want to go home. Come on, Morris. You've got an operation tomorrow. Today, we're going to learn about shapes and about gravity. And we're going to make things. You will enjoy it, Morris. Hurry up, Ted. Dr. Bickerbeak is here. This is our staff, Dr. Bickerbeak. I'm sure you remember most of them. Of course. Shall I lead the way? Where's Dr. Atticus? Well, Ted, can we fix it? No, we can't. 
Here's the electrocardiogram. Yes, very good, but you should move the machine further away from the couch. The patient could nudge it. Here's Dr. Atticus. I haven't seen him. That's amazing! It's wonderful, Morris. But, uh, what is it? It's a design for a high-rise badger set. This way, Dr. Bickerbeak. Let me show you the wall. Hurry up, Ted's. Hey, young mole. Will you give us a hand? I'm sure you'll be delighted with the way we look after our patients. And this is our broom cupboard. Look, we've got the most up-to-date vacuum cleaner. Uh, yes. Very good. Kitty! Yes, try that bit. That looks good. Hurry, they're coming! Quick, let's pop up. Let's pop up. Look! What is it, Kitty? Uh... The light fitting. Can you see, Dr. Bickerbeak? We only use the finest light bulbs. Uh, yes. Well done. This way, Dr. Bickerbeak. My, my. Yes. Well, I, I can explain everything. What a splendid idea. Yes, I'm glad to see that you have a proper school in the hospital. Well done. What imagination. Uh, yes. Well... I do my best. What a splendid construction, and so practical. Such a good idea to involve the patient in the practical workings of the hospital. Well done, young mole. Right, where next? Lead on, Surgeon Sally. Perhaps you'd like to see our lab. Well done, Morris. A gift. That's what you've got. A real talent. But that's enough excitement for one day. You've got a big operation tomorrow. I don't want an operation. If you don't have an operation, you won't get better. But I'm not ill. I was just pretending. Now, Morris, we all saw the results from the electrocardiogram. But Nurse Kitty, I hit the machine with my elbow. I did it on purpose. I, I didn't want to go to school. An excellent lab. This is a very good hospital. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Dr. Dr. Beckerbeek. I think that's just about everything. Yes, everything. <laughs> There's really nothing to worry about. I'm sure you'll like school. I feel much better now. I want to go home. It's just a shame that Dr. Atticus isn't here. On holiday, you'll say. Yes, he's been working very hard. Needed some time off. What's in there? Oh, uh, that's just the linen cupboard. Our linen cupboard is always clean and tidy. Look! <laughs> Dr. Atticus! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hello, Dr. Bickerby. Is it time for the inspection? <laughs> <laughs>